It is actually a nice day for once here in Ohio. Hey! What's going on? It's time to rebuild the two-stroke. Yeah, there it is. What are you doing right now? Taking these off. Sweet, let's get started. <laughs> We should have everything we need in these boxes to rebuild the KX100. Guys, should. it is time. It has been a long time. I know you want to see it. So I think we have everything we need. Let's go ahead and open these things up. Woo! Gasket! Oh my gosh, this is a big mamma jamma. Uh-oh. Here it all is. Look uh -oh. at this green. Woo, baby. We got the green genuine parts. Check that out, guys. Genuine Kawasaki. What is in here? That's the piston. Oh my <laughs> god. Piston. Piston. You're <laughs> pissing me off. Yes, you guys, we have the piston. This is the stock 52 millimeter, I believe. Sure, something like that. This is the base gasket right, oh. right there. This is the head gasket. That is the head gasket. The head gasket was what, like $28 or something? It says on here. 2711. $2711. What was the base like? $4.90. This gasket versus this gasket. <laughs> Big difference. Japan! Oh, we got this package right here. What do you think is in here? That's what we had to order last minute, right? Yep. Because of the shutdown, this company was going to stop sending out parts. So I had to locate it elsewhere. And we ended up getting an aftermarket wrist pin bearing. Let's open up the piston. Definitely most excited to see this. Hallelujah. Ooh, it's got a nice B on there. Yep. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's rebuild a two-stroke. Let's do it. All right, guys, we got our box of parts here. Uh, 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 uh. There we go, we need the cylinder. Here is the original needle bearing, which looks a lot different. Oh yeah, they're like longer. Interesting, it's got like that valley there, which actually would kind of be good for oil to sit in. But we're gonna reuse the original wrist pin. I know that, you know, some people might frown upon that, but I don't care. There is no wear that I can feel or see, so I think we'll be okay, as long as this fits semi-tight which it does. So let's kind of keep these parts that are going in clean. This is the original <laughs> OEM, which looks like it had a ring failure here. It's kind of the ring stuck in. They got so worn down. Look at all that. That thing is toasty. I was curious to see what direction is the front. Look at all that crap in there. Oh, I saw it. Yeah, a lot of crap came out. I'm gonna leave this napkin in here just in case we drop our clips, which is very likely to happen using some premix as assembly lube just to keep everything lubricated we did just vacuum this out not too long ago so we should be good with that agreed agreed get that all lubricated spotless now i'm going to grab the new needle bearing kind of lubricate all this inside Boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah. I'm gonna take off all these nuts. And then we're gonna put the base gasket on. Oops. You already lose a nut? <laughs> no. Okay. Base gasket. How mad would you be if I snapped this? I would be very upset. Is it honing time? Deglazing, we're gonna use that term. Deglazing? Not because honing. you really shouldn't hone a Nicosil coated cylinder. Oh. And I think all cylinders past like, I don't know what year are Nicosil coated. I'll put it on the screen now. So we're deglazing. Deglazing with the dingleberry. <laughs> That's good. Open up the dingleberry. Double D. There it is. So basically what we were trying to do is just get kind of that cross hatch pattern back and get ready for the fresh piston to go in there. So you don't want to go super crazy with this, but uh, this was recommended to me by a professional. So let's give it a try. I know the comment section is going to be flooded. Dude, you shouldn't do that, man. You're going to rub that nickel seal right off there, bud. I've rebuilt two strokes since I was five. I think the 12 volts got the power. I think so. 
Do you want to see my dingleberry? <laughs> Bend over. <laughs> oh, God. We are going to go ahead. This is going to be really hard to show you guys, but the cylinder is in good condition. There aren't any scoring marks or anything, but you can definitely tell that there's just kind of a haze over here. And... Let's see what we can do. Yeah. Wow. I know, I probably shouldn't, you know. This dirt would probably help with compression. I think you need a new wire brush. All right, can you supply me with some soap? Got my hair belly pots cleaner. What time is it? Two strokes, man. Time to put the rings on. Oh. Now when ordering rings and piston, you really want to check the ring gap, but since this is OEM for the OEM cylinder, I'm not really gonna worry about it. You should still do it, because you know, manufacturer errors and whatnot, but you know what? We're just gonna send it. <laughs> Story of Tanner's life. And then you want the ends to meet at that little pin hole there. So boom, number one right there. Mm -hmm. Boom, number two. Boom, boom. So these pre-drilled holes point towards the exhaust port. And this part you will definitely not be doing. What's that? Installing the C-clips. Oh. I should have ordered an extra set, but I'm risky, so I'm down to use the stock ones if we mess up with the new ones. By stock, I mean the old ones. So you wanna make sure you have something to block the holes into your bottom end because these are really easy to lose. Ow, just like that, that would have went down in there. I'm pretty sure my dad messed one of these up on a KX85 rebuild when I was a kid and it tanked the whole top end. So we're gonna take our time with this. And Looks like we got the first one stalled successfully. I'm gonna start with inserting one of these ends into the groove, like on the top. Just do not scratch your piston. Oh no. That is not good. I see it. Are you serious? Uh -huh. Can you get it with needle nose? I don't know if the magnet will reach. Did we get it? No. That is on the edge of destruction right there. Just sticking to everything. Jesus Christ. Did you get it? Yeah. <gasps> Bound to happen, guys. Oh my God. Oh, holy, what'd you do that on? I have no idea. The clip, she's a squirt. Mm. Gross. All right, this time we're gonna stuff more crap. We're gonna stuff a bloody paper towel in there. That was stupid, man. Take two, with the messed up thumb, feels really good. The last one I managed to get with just my will. Can I hear it? You're I'm bleeding. Yeah, like you're crazy. bleeding all over the <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> we'll have a little bloody rebuild. Screw you, C-clips. All right, take three. Thumbs up. We got it. Boom, just like that. Nice. 
Took a little bit of teamwork. Alexis held the clip in right here with the needle nose. Then I was able to use another pair of needle nose to get it in. A few light scuff marks, but you know what? Just extra uh, lubrication. <laughs> Make sure this is in for sure. All right, I say we got the hardest stuff done. Literally the next thing is just to slap the cylinder on because we already have the base gasket on there. I think the next step is going to be to take the bloody rag <laughs> out of the bottom end. That scared me for a second when we dropped that down in there. I did not think we were gonna recover that, but we did. We got it. Here is for the power valve. Boom. I hate using that excuse, but I guarantee uh, getting that clip in would have been easier on a bigger bike just because my hands are so big. It's hard for me with those little tiny C-clips to maneuver them, but it's all about technique. We are going to put some lubrication on our piston here. This is just some raw pre-mix. We're gonna make sure our rings are seated the right way, but we're also gonna lubricate the bottom here, these little bottom edges to help this thing slide in there. Holy shit! I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, let's get the nuts on there. Now you want to tighten those in a crisscross pattern. Trust this thing. Never have. Don't cheap out on your torque wrench. There we go. It helps if you close your eyes. <laughs> We're gonna run that. While Alexis is inside cleaning up the head, I'm gonna go ahead and put this power valve cover back on, which is actually plastic. There it is. It. With some spunk. I cleaned it. What'd you clean? With some spunk. Oh yeah. I hope not. Isn't that like toilet cleaner or something? First, you're missing something there, bud. What am I missing? Yeah, Tanner and I like razor blades. Looky there. Woo! Are we ready? Throw that head on there. There we go. There you go. Get them nuts started. Okay. Sweet. And guess what? We're gonna have to retorque this after a few heat cycles. Boom. Throw a spark plug in there. Let's go. So, I mean, most people when they do a uh, top end, you know what I'm saying, they'll use a fresh spark plug, but no, check most that out. Most people. We're gonna use this one that sat at the bottom of Bikini Bottom. <laughs> <laughs> got a little rust on there. Not expecting that. Are we gonna try and fire this thing tonight? Uh, we got a lot left to do. Get her in there. Mint. All right, guys, so now we're going to put the reeds in right here. Are you helping? Huh? What you doing, Dees? You helping with the rebuild? Hey, we're putting the reeds in right now. Can you torque those bolts down? Come here. Good boy. There you go. Good boy. There you go. Good job. Thanks, bud. Next, we gotta put the carburetor in. Got this thing all nice and shined up. Mint. Blew out the ports. Should be good. You never want to put, you know, something dry into a dry hole. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, Freaking tubes. Need to get my tubes tied. 
Yes. Ow, oh, my finger's stuck. You would be having a lot worse time because you have monster hands. Yeah, I do. What's next, boss? Okie dokie, I don't know. Radiator? Yeah. So we got some dinner at like 10.30 at night. It is now 11.30 o'clock. 11.30 o'clock. <laughs> I'm tired, but we're gonna finish this, so. We got the radiator on, and um, that's about it. <laughs> the carb is in there. Yeah, the clutch lever's back on. Clutch is connected. We are getting there. Yay! Pro tip. What's that? That's my pro tip. Oh. <laughs> Use that instead of Phillips. Boom. Always get green radiator hoses. That'd be pretty sick. Oh, that would be sick. So this goes to the tank. This is the main fuel line. Okay, what about this? Well, first we gotta put the slide for the carburetor on. Yeah. That would be smart. Oh, the old needle? Yeah, atta attached to the flashlight. All right, carb is on. Okay, all the hoses are connected? No, we got this top hose right here oh. that we're gonna zip tie. Cause I don't have another hose clamps, apparently. What's next, Lex? Motor mouth? Yep. Give it a few ooga doogas. Yeah. Note to self, do this before you put the radiator on. It's tired, guys. It's tired. Yeah, we are tired, guys. Give us a break. So we have the motor mounts in. What else do we have? Our box of parts is becoming non-existent. It is becoming non-existent. So we got this for the tank. Oh, we got exhaust. We gotta put the exhaust on. Yep. Are you not gonna, are you gonna leave that air filter that's in there? Oh yeah, it's clean. Yeah, clean. It's mint. So that's all we need out of here. We got this, we definitely should not reuse this exhaust gasket. I should definitely order another one. Hands are dirty, I don't wanna to touch these too much. We got some freshies, man. You remember the restyle oh, kit? I totally remember. We need to get some graphics on there. I think it's time. Oh, random KTM headlight. Anybody want this <laughs> for sale? Now I gotta find the exhaust, which I'm guessing is in my exhaust box. It's pretty sad that I have a whole box dedicated to exhaust. And yet we still have exhaust laying around. Oh my gosh. Don't you think we should uh, wait to fire this over till you get one? No way, Jose. Are you serious? Yeah. There we go. Yep. Exhaust is on there, but I forgot the silencer. Boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah, that's satisfying. Ooh, that thing stops on a dime. That's real satisfying. Boom. We got OEM, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, you know how satisfying that is that it's green? Yeah, got that Cowie coolant, baby. 0 0.7, so I think it's liters. Wow, that is mint. Heck yeah. Good job. Let's do her up. This is actually the perfect funnel. Whoa. Dude, why are you using that 10W40, man? You're gonna blow it up. Be all right. Mm, what else? Well, we just gotta throw the tank on and 
mix up some fresh gas and see if she'll fire. I'm scared. Me too. <laughs> All right, you gotta hook up the carb hole for the plastics. That's crazy. Got my can, which is overfilled. <laughs> it's like you're watching your pet or something. For the break-in process, I'm gonna be using the Kawasaki oil, which is a semi-synthetic. They kind of recommend that for the break-in. And I got my ratio right here, makes it super easy. I'll go ahead and link this down below if you don't have one of these, it's a must. For break-in, we're gonna do 32 to one. But I hear a lot of myths of people who run like more oil, say like 28 or 24, and that essentially what that's gonna do is make you run lean because the oil is too thick to flow through the jets. So if it's not jetted properly, you're actually gonna be running lean, which is not good, obviously. It's the complete opposite of what you're trying to do, so it just doesn't work that way. So I think uh, we're gonna do 32 to one for the break-in. Oh yeah. Go ahead and dump her in here. I'm gonna just shake this up. What? What? Wait, nice little dance move there. Not the two step, this is the two stroke. <laughs> and then you can just pour that back into here. And it gets most of the oil out of there that way. And until the next time, my friend. Guess what time it is? Two stroke! It's time for the moment of truth. Hope we don't have any leaks. I'm not going to fill her up, but. Enough to reach both sides of the gas tank, at least. That should be good. Boom! We have full. I saw it. Yeah. yeah. Definitely nervous, guys. Definitely nervous. First rebuild for the both of us. Do I have high confidence? Yeah, I really do think it's gonna start. Cause shout out to Crocs. <laughs> How many kicks? I don't have an answer. I would say anywhere ten. from, yeah, I would say like anywhere from five to 10. We're gonna put some choke on. Oh my God. And this is the first time this KX100 has ran in literally- A year? A year. Cause the last time this road was me and Gramatron were riding mm -hmm. in the winter doing mm -hmm. signs. Uh -huh. So it's been over a year. I'm gonna find top dead center. You hear that? Mm -hmm. That was a fire. That was good. I've seen some points. Are you? Oh yeah. Come on. Ow! We'll have to put a zip tie around that. It is leaking out of there. Slowly. so hard the back fender is like touching the tire. <laughs> it's definitely got enough compression to fire. It's just I think we probably fouled the spark plug. Pouring fluid. Oh my god. So guys we're leaking a bunch of fuel right here and I think this carburetor sat dry for so long that it actually uh the float's sticking right now so we're not gonna tear it apart tonight. I am gonna pull the plug to see what it looks like. See if it's wet, but I think we're just wet fouling. Oh yeah, it's soaked. Like dripping. Until a another day. Oh, she's leaking. Yeah, is she? Uh-huh. Sometimes if you hit the carburetor, it'll knock that float loose. We did get one fire though, which is a good sign. That was probably before it flooded. So I still have high confidence that we did a good job here. 